Good morning, good morning. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed morning. Wherever you are in the whole wide world, come on somebody, hallelujah. It's around 2.18 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And God woke me up this morning and God says, Deanna, tell them just like you've been saying for the last couple of days. He says that you're going to have much opposition, but stay in position. Oh, come on somebody. Child of God, let me tell you something. You must use your weapons of warfare. Your weapons of warfare is reading the word. Your weapons of warfare is being obedient, fasting, praying, worshiping like never before, before the Lord thy God, day and night. He says, Joshua 1, 8, have I not commanded you to be strong and have good courage? Come on, somebody, that's a command. Oh, hallelujah. So let me tell you something. I am reminded of David. David went against the Goliath. And Goliath, first of all, he said, first of all, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that is coming in, in my face? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That means you don't have no covenant with God. I have a covenant with God, so therefore I'm going to win. Not only win, God going to make sure I have the victory because I'm in covenant. You see, you come to me with a weapon. You come to me looking all big and bad. You come to me thinking that you can defeat me, but I come in the name of the Lord, he said. And since I come in the name of the Lord, I will defeat you in the name of the Lord. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Some of you are trying to... Do it your way. And God said, it cannot be done. You see, the battle is not really yours, God says. God says, the battle is mine. Your position is just to stay in position. The enemy knows what I can do, but he's trying to move you out of position with tests, with problems, with tribulations. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You see, let me tell you something. Two things are always happening. Either you're under pressure or you're applying pressure. Are you under pressure, child of God? Because if you're under pressure, then you should be applying pressure back to the enemy. No, I'm not going to be defeated. I'm not going to be fearless. I'm going to be fearless. I'm going to stay in my lane. I'm going to do what God has called me to do. And that's praying. And that's fasting. Come on, somebody. And that's just keeping my mouth off of what God told me to keep it off of. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You see, Saul, when David was going to fight Goliath, Saul said, well, well, go ahead and take this armor. And he says, well, I have not proven that because I am j still a boy. He said, but what I have proven is that God is good. What I have proven is God is faithful. What I have proven is that I know I can defeat him with the power of God. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Scholars say that when Goliath fell, he fell forward because the power of the slingshot, the stone, had hit him and embedded in his head. Now, you know, anybody that gets knocked down, usually they fall backwards. But the power was such a force that he fell frontwards. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God says that in front of you, your enemies should fall. In front of you, you should see them. In front of them, you will have victory. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But child of God, you must do this thing God's way. You must stay obedient. You must stay in worship. You must stay in prayer. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Too many of you staying up at night, worrying, wondering. Oh, God. Oh, God. He said, don't worry. He said, don't you understand that faith? Faith is your weapon, too. Oh, come on, somebody. You see, that's what he's really after. He's not after your body like you think. He's after your soul. He's after your mind. Come on, somebody. He wants you to have, to have doubt and fear. But God says, just stand. Stand. And when you stand, watch me. He says, watch me. I'll do that thing. I'll do it. He said, you don't do it. Here's the deal. We're, we're getting out of position because we get panicky. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? Or what's going to happen? You have to stand assured. I know God is going to see me through. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You have to remember the victories. When you're going through, remember the victories. You know what? Wait a minute. I, I've been here before. God did it. He'll do it again. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Some of you, 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 you get a little antsy when things are happening. Oh, my God. But don't you understand Psalm 23? David understood he's God. He said, God will bless you in the presence of your enemies. Y'all sitting up there. They're worrying about the enemies. Don't you understand that they must come? Because even when the sons of God used to, the Bible says that when they used to come, the devil would come too. Don't you understand that wherever you are, there will be tests. There will be trials. There will be tribulations. There will be an enemy present. But guess what? Just pull up the table. Oh, come on, somebody. Just pull up your seat and say, okay, this is how we're going to do it. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. I'm ready. You got to stay ready. Too many of you trying to get ready when you're supposed to stay ready. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Apostle Deanna Dixon do this for real. Not trying to gloat or be arrogant. I don't have a choice. With the anointing on my life, I got to stay before God. You see, I'm up at two o'clock in the morning. Are you serious? Who does this? I need God. I need to know what God is saying. God, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to do it? He says, stand my child. Stand my child. Oh, hallelujah. When I get you up, pray. When I get you up, say what does said the Lord. When I get you up, you know what to do. Hallelujah. You got to stay. Stay before God in this season like never before. 
I'm not saying it's going to be easy because I assure you we have a known enemy. So this will not be easy. But I promise you this. He said, but I'll assure you that you have the victory, thus saith the Lord. You have the victory, child of God. We have to go back to Luke 10, 19. I have given you victory over the enemy and all power. You didn't hear what I said? All power in the name of Jesus Christ. You got to know your authority. There it is. You have to know your spiritual authority. Too many of you are giving your authority away to the enemy. He has no authority. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He only makes you believe he does. You know what God was telling me? I said, God, the enemy, something was all this technology. He said, yeah, still trying to be me. Come on, somebody. Aren't they listening? Aren't they always looking? What you think uh, all these cameras about? All this technology. He want to do like God. He want to be like God. He want to see like God. He want to heal like God. And yet he is not God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to understand what I just said, child of God. God says, this is your season, but it's also a season of treason. You got to watch who you're connected to. You got to watch what you say and who you said to. You got to watch what you trust, who you trust in this hour, God says. He says, I'll show you their plans. I'll show you their hearts. I'll show you what's really going on. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But you can't see if you're not in the spirit. Too many of, of you are walking in the carnal. God says, you got to get in the spirit. Those that worship me, worship me in spirit and in truth. If you don't have a spirit, you'll never know the truth, said the Lord. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This stuff is real. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.